16,529 fans filing into a sold out United Center here in Chicago, Illinois for AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling presents Forbidden Door. I am Excalibur, joined by the human suplex machine, Taz, and the English voice of New Japan Pro Wrestling, Kevin Kelly. Kevin, great to have you here on hand. Thank you so much. It is a thrill to be working with you guys here tonight in front of all these people and a worldwide crowd on pay-per-view. Well, coming up at the top of the hour, Forbidden Door on pay-per-view, the main event, the interim AEW World Championship title match, John Moxley and Hiroshi Tanahashi collide. Four-way match for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, new champ. Switchblade Jay White defense against Hangman Page, former champ Kazuchika Okada, and Adam Cole. Talk about four-way matches. AEW, All-Atlantic, brand new championship, Miro, Pack, Malakai Black, and Claude Condes, man, it's gonna be big. And a trio's tag team match with the winner getting the man advantage at Blood and Guts this Wednesday. Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and Minoru Suzuki versus Eddie Kingston, Wheeler Yuta, and Shota Umino. We might crown a new women's world champion here tonight. Tony Storm is the challenger, but Thunder Rosa, what a champion she is. Talk about this, man, check it out. Trio's tag team match, the Bullet Club, the Bullet Club collides with dudes with attitudes. Check out that lineup. Three teams, two titles, one winner will take it all. FTR, the United Empire, and Rapongi Vice. IWGP US Heavyweight title on the line. A lot of controversy about this one, but Will Ospreay goes one-on-one -on -one against Orange Cassidy. Well, one of the best technical wrestlers worldwide, Zack Sabre Jr. is gonna collide with a mystery opponent. Who the hell is it? We're gonna find out tonight. But coming up right now on the buy-in, our main event before we go live on pay-per-view, Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemaru of Suzuki-Goon take on Swerve in our glory. Then we'll see an eight-man tag with Max Castro, the gun club with Anthony Bowens against the boys from the LA Dojo, DKC, Kevin Knight, Alex Coughlin, Yu Yumura. And how about this battle of the Bohemians, man? Lance Archer, the Murderhawk monster, goes one-on-one -on -one against Nick Camarado of the Factory. But right now, here on the buy-in to kick us off, speaking of the Factory, QT Marshall and Aaron Solo take on the duo of Hiroki Goto and Yoshihashi, collectively known as Bishamon. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening buy-in contest is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 430 pounds, Aaron Solo and QT Marshall. QT Marshall, There you see. Japanese ring announcer joining Justin Roberts here to kick us off. He'll be with we'll, we'll have bilingual and introductions throughout the evening here. In any language, everybody hates QT Marshall. That's very true, Kevin. That's a good point, including me. And their opponents first from Aichi, Japan, weight 225 pounds, Yoshi Hashi. Former IWGP Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, World Tag League winners as well. This is one of the best duos in New Japan. And from Nihei, Japan, weight 227 pounds, Hiroki Goto. An incredible tag team, Goto and Yoshihashi, but also tremendously skilled individually as well, Kevin. Yeah, Hiroki Goto, three-time New Japan Cup winner. Yoshihashi, of course, the most improved wrestler in New Japan over the last three years. And as a duo, winning World Tag League, a long, grueling tournament. Then they went to Wrestle Kingdom, and blew out the defending champions at Tokyo Dome. That was dangerous Techers. And they're looking to chuck up a win here. Well, it's interesting because in this tag team bout that's about to start momentarily here, you know, it's a clash of styles here, guys, obviously. You know, it's really a clash of styles where the factory, QT Marshall and Aaron Solo, they're gonna bring that American more strong style 
where I think their opponents got on Ashi is going to be a little bit different. The team, of course, known as Bishamon, which is a, a a word, a phrase commonly used in Japan to represent that warrior spirit. And certainly Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi embody that. Yeah, both uh, Goto and Yoshihashi products of the New Japan Pro Wrestling Dojo in Japan. And uh, we've seen the factory invade New Japan strong and carry their rivalry with the LA Dojo of New Japan Pro Wrestling, even over here into AEW. And I'll, I'll break some news here. This will be completely shocking, yes. QT Marshall made a complete ass of himself. Embarrassed him, embarrassed AEW. Referee Jeremy Marcus, he won't be biased, even though he's from the LA Dojo test. Now we have a uh, referee core comprised of uh, New Japan referees and AEW referees here tonight. And coming up at the top of the hour, Forbidden Door live on pay-per-view, Bleacher Report and Fight.TV internationally in four languages and in Japan exclusively on NJPWWorld.com. Yeah, good morning Ooh. to everybody in Japan. That's going to be exciting. Nice drop kick, but yeah. yes, I'm so impressed with Aaron Solo. Oh, Solo's super athletic. You know, it's perplexing why he hangs around a QT Marshall, but he's part of the factory. But the drop kick was on point, KK, oh. for sure. Look at that shoulder block. Yoshihashi, yeah. yeah, coming out with a shoulder tackle, taking Aaron Solo off oh. of his feet. Don't turn your back too long, though. You gotta be careful with Solo. He's quick. Uh oh. Uh, there we go. Due to a diminishing number of requests. <laughs> Man, you're rough on QT. I, listen, I, I've known QT for years, and as much as I want to, and, and he's a terrific wrestler, don't get me wrong. Yeah, this is a hell of a coach, too. Listen to the Windy City Guardians here <laughs> in Chicago. But this is good. Let's have Goto and QT get it going. Yeah, two of the, the two of the thicker, thicker built athletes on their respective teams here at Scout. And if uh, you, you're exactly right, Taz, and I was going to say for the AEW fans that if the name Hiroki Goto sounds familiar, it is because Goto and Hiroshi Tanahashi were in the eliminator match at Dominion to determine who would move on to our main event here tonight, Forbidden Door, to compete for the interim AEW World Championship. Oh, look at that, Goto. Put the brakes on, duck the clothes on. Oh, what a shot. What a shot right to the back. Hard hands, lethal feet. Hiroki Goto can light you up. Yeah, hard hands and heavy hands, too, Kevin, for sure. And that's smart. <laughs> he wants no part of it. How quick to tag out the solo. And Hiroki Goto is he's just warming up. Yeah, he's raring for a fight. Aaron Solo, a little, little trepidatious. Well, locking up with Goto. And cheap shot there on the... And another cheap shot. And it works. Hey, listen, you know, it might not be the popular way to go about business, but it works. That's what you can expect from the factory. They know how to how to bend the rules to their advantage. Oh, big shoulder tackle by Goto. But to the eyes goes Aaron Solo. The team of Goto Yoshihashi over the last 365 days, a tag record of 15 and four. And the double tackle puts him down. Watch this now. Hip toss from Goto on his own partner, Sentani. Aaron Solo on that double boot from yeah. Bishamon and a Bishamon beatdown. The war drums echoing out throughout the United Center. Right now, Solo's in a <laughs> he's in that two on one situation. You don't want to be in that percussion section, Taz. No, 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 no thanks. I've been hit by some of the biggest and best. I don't want none of that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I mean, again, you know, there's so much opportunity that you fans have to join us on pay-per-view anywhere around the world. You're watching this. Now's the time to do it. Don't wait another second. I'll come on. QT grabs the boot and solo. Wipes Yoshi Yoshihashi off the apron. And now look at QT, look at QT. It's a T. The QT special. Oh, yeah, rarely done. It's the QT special, baby. I know why it's rarely done. Are you going to say that? Well, watch Solo now take advantage. Solo likes to employ those diving foot stomps off the top. And Ooh. that's oh. exactly what he was going for right on the money. Might get the win here on Goto, too. And Ooh. almost. Very late close. kick out there, guys. Yeah. Very late kick out, but, he, but the kick out's all that matters. It just shows the power of those foot stomps. Aaron Solo may not be the biggest athlete in this match, but when he comes off the top of those stomps, it is a nightmare for his opponent. Yeah. Do, we, do we have any clue who this mystery opponent is going to be for Zack Sabre Jr., I the replacement for Brian Daniels? I've asked a lot of people backstage. Excalibur's usually dialed it to everyone. Stooge. But you know, I, I, <laughs> you're supposed to cough first. Stooge. What? <laughs> 
Hey, Tom, you don't know who it is, right? You're not, you wouldn't share it here anyway, would you? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you, Ted. I know you would. <laughs> Here's a cover. <laughs> Again. Hiroki Goto able to kick out. The factory really pressing the advantage here. See how QT grabs the hair of Goto, keeps him towards his corner as he tags Solo. Little subtle things like that. Like QT or not, a veteran, a ring general. So Goto and Yoshihashi, of course, have had great success as a tag team. They're also one of the winningest. They are the winningest six-man former champions in New Japan. That's right, they held the uh, never open weight trio titles with uh, Tomohiro Ishii. Oh. And Goto using his size and leverage advantage to take Eric yeah. Solo over the top. Well, yeah, no, you're right, Excalibur's good power display, too, on the block and the vertical suplex. Who's going to get to their opponent? On the first, looks like yeah. Solo did, but... Oh, he, smart. Cut, yeah, he, cut them off. You hate to, to pay QT Marshall a compliment, but he put his spot on oh, now. Oh, now he's blocking the warrior spirit of Hiroki Goto, the change of direction. And Goto comes in big time, Lariat. And now the window is open for Goto to make the tag up to Yoshihashi. Yeah, QT got blasted. Goto, can he get Hashi in? Oh, there it is. Yoshihashi, the legal man. QT up to his feet. He's still feeling the effects of that big lariat. And oh, 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 rips him, rips him. Oh, watch him get quick, though. Into the midsection, doubles QT over. And no, oh, the neck breaker. Oh, no, QT. Back in the head with that elbow. I like it. Oh, boy. Big time back body drop by Yoshihashi. Big strength right there. Tough to do that to a man QT size. Yoshihashi going to be in the upcoming G1 Climax tournament starting on July 16th. We'll talk a little bit more about that as the night progresses. Biggest, biggest pool in some time. All the headhunter right there, the neck breaker. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Down the ring. Two. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Solo. Great assist by Solo on that save. And now Goto getting all over Aaron. Oh, no, Goto sets the outside. Aaron Solo over the top. Don't make on your own. Great job, Aaron Solo. Look at that. And now he's going to get the legal man and roll him back in. Boy, this is good stuff. Factory's looking good here, like it or not. Uh-oh. QT. It is. Yeah, Diamond, Diamond Cutter Jones. Diamond Cutter. Passed down to QT Marshall by Diamond Dallas Page. And if, he, and if he hits it, it's over. Yes. And he's going to hit it. Uh -oh. looking, looking for it. Yoshihashi had it scouted. QT comes back. Enzigiri. And the corkscrew kick from Solo. And there it is. There's the Diamond Cutter. Match is over. Factory's gonna steal it. One, two, no! Goto there to break it up. Excellent job by Goto, saving his partner. Turnabout's fair play. Oh, oh, and the chop. Yeah, the chop across the windpipe, too. When you saw Goto, he was clapping his hands in front of Yoshihashi, trying to break, him, break his partner out of that stupor after that diamond cutter. Oh, look at this now. Big man's gonna soar. He's gonna fly, QT. QT is very rare. 450 splash, but the pool is empty. That was impressive, even though he missed. Solo comes off the top. Yoshihashi avoids it. Basement drop kick. Goto up on the apron. After taking that diving cutter, Yoshihashi's gotta make this tag or it's over. Not a good point, Kevin. I totally agree with you. And there it is. The tag is made. Solo, though, firing in some shots on Hiroki Goto. So hits the ropes, Goto. Oh, got caught. Oh, counter. Watch Yoshihashi in the back door. Solo just got cracked by Yoshihashi, and now, uh-oh. Solo singled out, but he drops behind. Oh, oh Yoshihashi waiting there. Smashes the thrust kick, and now with QT Marshall up. Oh, Ushi Goroshi from Hiroki Goto oh, after Goto the thrust Hunter kick. Drilled him. I think they have singled out Aaron Solo right here. Hashi and Goto, Solo's dead meat, buddy. See ya. One, two, three. After Shoto, it's lights out. Yoshi Hashi and Hiroki Goto. What a hell of a match to kick off. Hell of a match to kick off the buy-in, boys. That was good stuff. Yeah, it, this night only gets bigger from here. Remember, you still have a chance to join us on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers. Bleacher Report, Fight.tv, internationally available in four languages and exclusively in Japan on NJPWWorld.com. And right now, let's take a look at this four-way match for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. 
Stepping into the ring with a guy like Jay White, a guy like Okada, a guy like Hangman Adam Page. I mean, this match just screams big match. It, it screams importance. It's, it's honestly what Forbidden Door is really all about. You say it's been thrown into the fire. I just call it another day in the life of the champion, another day in the life of Switchblade Jay White. To have four elite level wrestlers, four of the best wrestlers in the world competing in the same match, it is a powder kick. To hold that championship, it would mean the world to me. And will I win it? I told you I would win the AW World Championship, and I did. I'll do the same for this one. I will make it rain in the United Center. United to Center! It's gonna be Switchblade Jay White beating three of their favorites, three of the best in the world. But let me set the record straight. They're not the best because they're not Jay White. I am. So many big matchups coming up on Forbidden Door, but this is a big match indeed. It's gonna be a hoss fight. The Murderhawk monster Lance Archer and Nick Camarado collide. Got a set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 289 pounds, Nick Camarado. A lot of uh, a lot of things riding on this match, not only the, the honor of the factory, but we talked about the G1 climax earlier, Kevin. Nick Camarado not in the tournament, but his opponent is. No doubt, and it's got a hoss fight written all over it, and Lance Archer is in the A block this year. As we've called it, it's the big boy block. Camarado would have fit in famously. Mm. Oh, batten down the hatches. And his opponent, from home, Texas, weighing 273 pounds, the Murder Hawk Monster, Lance Archer! Massive ovation for the Murder Hawk. Yeah, this man very familiar uh -oh. to fans of AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling alike. And Archer comes in, all oh, the cannonball into Colorado. Whoa! And Archer just throwing big right hands into the jaw of Nick Camarado. I mean, Archer land on his head, just cut oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> going. Like another day in the office, baby. <laughs> Archer looking for the big chop in the corner. Uh-oh. The hand around the throat of Camarado with Ooh. a big right elbow strike. And you see Lance Archer with that T-shirt on uh -oh. wearing. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, Camarado pressing the big boot by that T-shirt, the Suzuki Goon T-shirt. We will see the leader of Suzuki Goon in action later tonight on Forbidden Door when he teams up improbably with Chris Jericho and Sammy Guevara to take on Eddie Kingston, Shota Umino, and Wheeler Yuta with the winner getting the man advantage at Blood and Guts this Wednesday night. Archer cracks his head on the barricade as he crashes to the deck as Nick Camarado just threw his body into the Murder Hawk monster. Taz this Nick Camarado to be a throwback, but a modern athlete in many respects. Well said, Kevin. That's exactly a great breakdown of Camarado because of the size and thickness, the hairy, burly body and head. Throwback Jones, right? But yet the speed, the athleticism, the wrestling prowess, the technique, he's got it all, man. He can go. We talked about the G1 Climax kicking off in a few weeks. This is a round robin tournament, one of the most grueling tournaments in all of pro wrestling. As Camarado looks for the cover, forget it. But think about how damaging that could be to the psyche of Lance Archer heading into that tournament if Nick Camarado prevails here tonight. Knowing that he's going to have to fight the likes of Jonah, Jeff Cobb, Bad Luck, Fale. Ooh. That's just some of the athletes he's going to fight. Okada's in that block as well, by the way. Yeah. Players, man. Big players. Yeah, and. Archer does not want to go in on a loss to a man he's going to have to face several times in his opponents in the A block. That's going to be grueling. Four blocks of seven, 28 in the field. 
One of the biggest fields in, in recent memory. I think it's the biggest of all time, and it's a long first time in 20 some odd years they've had four blocks. That's how many athletes qualified. And somebody like Camarado, I think could have could have definitely fit into that G1 mix. Next year might be his time. I think you might be right. I think I do think Nick would be a great fit for sure. And as you mentioned earlier, Excalibur at the top of this buy it. People are still filing into this arena. We're sold out here tonight at the United Center in Chicago. Yeah, 16,529 fans joining us here tonight. Completely sold out. Imagine you're walking and reading a speech to monsters. Forget your pop popcorn. Sit down and watch. Big right hand being dished out by Camarado. And Lance Archer, this is a uh, not not typical for Lance Archer to get overpowered by his opponent. Well, you're right, it's very rare. It's a good point, Excalibur, and that's the thing. I mean, Archer's usually heavy offensively, but the size difference uh, is not, not, oh, oh, not big at all. Well, that was big, though. Archer buying himself some time to recover to get his head back into this match. It was in the G1 Climax Tournament a few years ago that Lance Archer made a name for himself. He'd been largely a tag team specialist in New Japan. But the G1 was his coming out violence party. Yeah, what I was trying to say earlier, I got a little tongue-tied. It's rare to see someone match size, power, intensity, and ferocity with Lance Archer. But Camarado's pulling that off as these men go punch for punch. And Archer rocked back a couple steps. Oh, <laughs> Colorado, though, ate it for lunch. God. I mean, punching someone in the jaw as hard as you can, they scream at you. Oh, gosh. These Titans teeing off on one another. Center of the ring, Camarado. The knee lift to the midsection. Oh, but Archer comes back. Don't but look at Colorado. Yep. yep. He got lit up. I think Lance is starting to get in a groove here. Camarado reverses the throw to the corner. Archer with the, the boot up into the face. Stop Camarado in his tracks. Yeah, Camarado's rocked a little bit on that boot, guys. But this is something that very few athletes can do. And the man the size of Lance Archer shouldn't even think about doing it. But Lance Archer can make it look easy. Tremendous balance, athleticism. Look at this for a man almost seven feet tall. The murder hawk monster. Walking the tightrope and coming down with the moonsault. The cover, the far leg is hooked. No, Camarado breaks free. It made the moonsault look easy. There is no tightness in the middle of the ropes like that. A guy that size doing that is insane. But kudos to Camarado for kicking out. Lance Archer may be thinking blackout here. Throws one of those big massive right hands but Camarado knows what's coming Camarado trying to fight out of the corner shots to the crown of the head of Archer Nick's got to try and string a few moves together here this might be one of them to start it off power yeah, slam. yeah massive power slam there by Camarado no Archer testing himself here again he's gonna have to face the likes of bad luck Fale Jonah Jeff Cobb the big boy block, the A block of the G1 Climax Tournament, which gets underway July 16th. We'll have live English commentary for every event on NJPWWorld.com. What in the world did I just see, Taz? Amazing, amazing for a man north of 285 pounds, Camarado, but he's got caught here, guys. Camarado maybe getting a little too fancy by half. Archer comes in with the, the rising knee strike and another massive right hand, that shovel hook. Yeah, big overhand. Uh, all of this, he might be going. Oh, no way. Wow. Oh, oh, God. No way. The well, big boy block is put on notice. Archer lands the blackout and scores the win. There is your winner, the murder hawk monster, Lance Archer. A very impressive victory for Lance Archer, Kevin. When you look at what Lance Archer was able to do, showing the balance, the athleticism, and then pure power. He's putting it all together in just the right time, Tad. Yes, yes, no doubt, Kevin. That blackout has put out a lot of men on our roster. You can add Camarado to that list, man. Impressive. Goes to Murder Hall. Lance Archer looking forward to the G1 Climax while we here are looking to forward to Forbidden Door coming your way at the top of the hour. Live on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers. Bleacher Report.
exclusively in Japan on NJPW World and on Fight.TV internationally in four languages. And the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship, Will Ospreay, Orange Cassidy, they will collide on Forbidden Door. When Kenny Omega left New Japan Pro Wrestling to join AEW, he essentially passed the torch to two men, Jay White and Will Ospreay. He said, you represent the rest of the world in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And wait, inside the ring, that's Aaron Hanare and Aussie Open also. Osprey bringing in the reinforcements. And Aussie Open, one of the greatest tag teams of the last five years. He's gonna come into this match at Forbidden Door with a point to prove, and he's gonna try to prove that point at the expense of Orange Cassidy. Though, we've seen throughout his AEW career, Orange Cassidy is not somebody to be taken lightly. And he's not somebody that's very easily bullied. Just ask Chris Jericho about that. Will Ospreay, the undisputed Revolution Pro British Heavyweight Champion, the IWGP United States Heavyweight Champion. I could see Orange Cassidy getting under his skin. I could see Orange Cassidy forcing Will Ospreay to make mistakes. And I think Orange Cassidy is gonna walk out of Forbidden Door the winner. Can Will Ospreay successfully defend the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship for the first time against Orange Cassidy? We will find out tonight. And the All-Atlantic Championship, the inaugural champion, will be determined tonight. Malachi Black, Miro, the Bastard Pack, and the late entry to the match, Clark Connors is standing by with our own Alex Marvez. Clark Connors, a huge opportunity for you here tonight at Forbidden Door. You are one of the four finalists to crown the first AEW All-Atlantic Champion. If you were to win this title, what would it mean for your career? Well, first and foremost, the word that popped out to me was opportunity. And I got this opportunity because the injury suffered by Tom Hiroishi. And I want to tell him, I hope you get well soon, and my well wishes are with you. But on to the most important thing. Me, tonight, winning that belt. It's going to do everything for my career that I've always wanted. You see, when I get that strap tonight, I'm gonna show everybody exactly why. Not only am I great in Japan, but I'm great here on the biggest stage at AEW. I'm gonna show everybody why I'm the wild rhino, because I'm here to break a door right off its hinges, the forbidden door, that is. And finally, I'm gonna show everybody what it means when I say, let's get wild. Guys, back to you. I'll tell you what, don't write off Clark Connors. Yes, he might be the least favored of the four, but could pull a huge upset this field, though, in this match, absolutely stacked. But coming up right now here on the buy-in, Swerve in our glory. Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland will take on Suzuki Goons, El Desperado, and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. El Desperado in the mask. And Kanemaru with the whiskey already. Yeah, how did you, you ever take a tongue on the Suntory bottle heading to the ring test? Well, I, I asked him if I could have a sip. He gave me a look like I better walk away from this guy. I wanted to have a little swig before I get on the edge. Tell you what, they're the most accomplished team in this match in terms of their track record, their personal histories. And if Swerve and Lee are not on all pages, then we, uh, well, yeah, Conamaru, that remains to be seen. Yeah, you're right. Conamaro Desperado can take advantage. <laughs> and their opponents first, from Tacoma, Washington, weighing 211 pounds, Swerve Strickland. Swerve for the conversational newsletters. Team 
Team of swerving our glory. So effective and so heartbreaking to see what happened. This and it all stems from the Casino Battle Royale where Swerve eliminated his own partner. But I mean, there was a shot at the interim AEW World Championship on the line, which Swerve tried to explain to Keith. And they've been able to mend fences somewhat, Kevin. And last week, of course, you know, both guys want to win. That's what you want on a team. But Swerve, I would say, is an acquired taste for some. He might not be well, Keith Lee's cup of tea. Yeah, he's not my cup of tea either. Neither is Keith Lee. I don't like either of these guys at all. Okay, I've had my issues with them, as have my guys. Okay, we'll, we'll get that to down the road here because I'm sick of Keith Lee. I'm sick of Swerve. I'm sick of I'm sick of both these guys. I don't care if they're friends or not. What about referee Steven Smith? I don't like him either. Oh, come on. I don't like him either. I definitely don't like him. So we can watch for Connemaro Desperado to go after the legs of their opponent. Connemaro has been frequently using a figure four. Well, good luck figure four. <laughs> that that big tree trunks. Yeah. And this sold out United Center. As Keith Lee and Yoshinobu Connemaro start things out for their respective sides. Well, by Connemaro, just things in your ears and go tingling a loop. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously the size disparity here does not favor Katamaro and Desperado. They're junior heavyweights, former junior heavyweight tag team champions. Uh, I think Katamaro, I think he's thinking here. He's, I don't think he's a dumb athlete. He knows he's, he's got something in mind, I think. There we go. I like this. There you go. Of course, Katamaro, Excalibur, great history in pro wrestling. Noah predating his time in New Japan. That's right. Uh, Katamaro... Began his career actually in uh, the All Japan Pro Wrestling Dojo, then went to Pro Wrestling Noah, where I believe that's where he joined Suzuki Goon. And uh, then his, he's mixed it up with junior heavyweights, but heavyweights as well throughout his career. And now Kanemaru using his speed and once again going after the knee. Uh -oh. Got his face pumped. Oh no. Oh. Kanemaru just driven down. Yeah, you don't want to get Keith Lee pissed off. I'm telling you. Touch exactly. on the backs and were declared legal. And the same on the opposite side. Oh, Desperado seeing his first action of the match. I'll tell you what, Desperado has gotten a real organic fan following going. In Suzuki Goon, you're Rudo. You're a bad guy. You break the rules. But the people dig him. They dig his style. They dig his tenacity. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And they also go strictly. Go whose house, this house, that house, Swerve, Swerve's house, whatever. I think it's all Desperado's house, damn it. Swerve looks for the trip. Desperado avoids leapfrog there by Strickland. Des uh -huh. Desperado put on the brakes, and Desperado looking for numero dos. Swerve frantically getting the, getting the rope break. Smart though, smart by Swerve. Find that bottom rope, get the hell out of harm's way. Desperado, you know, despite the... Uh, the luchador looked the mask and everything, but oh, Desperado holds on to the oh. to the middle rope. But Swerve bridges up and sends Desperado to the ground. Nah, this is where Swerve gets dangerous. Yes, yes, you're right. Oh, got caught there. Ooh. Desperado swings out the boot and look at this. Yes, sir. There it is. Numero dos on the outside, cranking, ripping at the knee of Swerve Strickland. Blow your knee out. Boy, this dude will blow your knee out with that. Nice by El Desperado. I'm gonna say Desperado. He combines the uh, the lucha libre style of Mexico, but with the the Japanese technical style so effortlessly, Kevin. Yeah, and and the one thing that of course Desperado has been looking for that Best of Super Junior tournament win was denied once again this year, and looked like he was going to be the next contender for Taiji Ishimori when Ooh. all of a sudden Kushida returned. To New Japan Pro Wrestling and shoved his way to the front of the line last week. Right now, Swerve Strickland in control of Desperado. We had a small by Strickland to tag in Keith Lee, and Desperado's in grave danger here. Big time. Uh oh. This could be. Let's go. Oh! Oh, that's an eye rake. And, and the knee. Out of the way. I like it. The knee of Keith Lee was hit by that drop kick, and that was the same knee 
that Kanemaru was working on earlier in this match, and now Desperado. Yeah, you're right, Excalibur. And now that's the target on that knee. Desperado all over that left leg, the left knee of the big man here. And the size difference, the size yeah, no advantage, matter. completely neutralized right now with Lee on the mat. We are less than 30 minutes away from Forbidden Door coming your way at the top of the hour, live on pay-per-view through traditional satellite and cable TV providers, on Bleacher Report, on Fight.tv internationally, on pay-per-view.com, and exclusively in Japan on NewJapanWorld.com. The reason why Tomohiro Ishii is not able to be here tonight in the AEW All-Atlantic 4-Way is because of the injury that he suffered in the semifinal match of the New Japan bracket against Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Moves just like this. Ishii fought his way through, beat Connors, but then doctors said, no way you can go to Forbidden Door. Your knee is too bad, all thanks to Kanemaru. Well, Kanemaru, to your point, Kevin, you could just see the sense of urgency. He realized what's going on with that knee. Him and his partner, Desperado, have been all over that knee, all over that left knee of Keith Lee. Suzuki Gun Duo attempting a double Irish whip, but Keith Lee just holding his ground. At that. Oh no. <laughs> That's bad when it, you hit your partner so bad it hurts you. <laughs> yeah. Keith Lee. Oh, forget it. He was looking for the spirit bomb and stitch. This is Kanemaru as a, as a battering ram. Kanemaru was looking for a head scissors. Oh, oh. drop kick to the knee. Uh -oh. And Kanemaru DDT. Great job. Great teamwork. Inadvertent teamwork, but it worked. And Keith Lee is in serious trouble here after the DDT. Oh, oh, oh Stefano almost got squished. He almost landed in Milwaukee. <laughs> that was some kick out. Tag to Despe. The Suzuki Goon pair doing everything that they can. Wrestling very smartly, very aggressively. They've got Keith Lee down. There's nothing fancy here, too. You know, guys, you just work on that leg. Just get on that leg offensively. Oh, even with an injured leg, he's got a power of Keith Lee. Keith Lee making the crawl. He's Come digging on. in on those elbows. On. Makes contact with Swerve. Now who is the legal man? Takes down Desperado with one, two shots. Of Keith, uh, Swerve strictly coming in hot, which is the right thing to do. High boot. Caught Kanemaru. As Desperado trying to get his bearings. Pulls himself up in the corner. Swerve Strickland. Uppercut. Desperado out and comes back the uppercut to the back. Good hang time right there by Strickland. Good intensity in the eyes of this man. I might not like him, but he's a good competitor. Certainly is, and he and Keith Lee just so, so effective as a tag team. Imagine if they were able to get on fully on the same page. Would be limitless for Swerve in our glory. Nice back elbow by Desperado. He's on the hop right now. Ooh, nice counter by Swerve. Swerve rolls through. Keeping control of the head of Desperado. Oh. Brainbuster center of the ring. This might do it right here. Let's see. The leg is hooked. Two. And a kick out. Yeah, impressive kick out by Desperado. He landed on the back of his head there, guys. Hard. Yeah, Desperado giving up some size and weight to Swerve Strickland. And as you mentioned, Taz, that brainbuster brought Desperado down hard. Swerve. Maybe doing himself a disservice here. Yeah. Not pressing the issue. No, I agree. Maybe going for a full nuts. It's a half now. So nice arm drag counter. Pin, pin. Look at this. Watch the leg. He's going to try to get back on the leg. Oh, high boot. Stops Desperado on his tracks. Swerve. Eats the elbow, but comes back with an uppercut of his own. Desperado comes to center. Oh, spine buster by Desperado. Great yeah. way to use his opponent's momentum against him, Taz. No doubt about it, exactly. Not exactly a powerhouse Hobbs type spine buster, but it worked for sure by Desperado. It's a double team here. Kanemaru in without benefit of a tag. Ooh, nice. Desperado with the cover, deep cover. Swerve able to kick out, but you see how, how labored the movements of Keith Lee yeah. on the outside are. The whole time he's been hobbling outside the ring. He cannot put much weight on that left knee. A knee breaker coming in. Yes. Oh, oh, on the ropes on the yam bag. And then oh. followed up by the drop kick by Kanemaru. Very smart. Yeah, Desperado pointed to that head. Very smart, no doubt. Keith Lee has been basically eliminated from this match. Swerve Strickland singled out inside the ring. Pinche Loco coming up. I think Strickland, man. Oh, nice counter. I was just saying he's about to be in a lot of trouble. 
Ooh. Swerve. Rotated out of that, lands a chop. Desperado returns, boot to the face. Desperado returns, no. Swerve goes underneath into oh. a backbreaker. Swerve hits the ropes with Desperado. Good impact, good strong. Oh, face first goes Desperado. A physical back and forth battle here on the buy-in for Forbidden Door. You see Keith Lee to the left of your screen. Very, very tentative getting up on the apron. But Strickland needs Keith Lee right now. He definitely does. I totally agree with you. Can Swerve get Keith in? And he does. Bonamara oh, is charging in. Yeah, charging in and going right after the knee. Landing those drop kicks on the patella. Make the big man run, but Keith Lee too strong. Oh, I, love, I love the offense. I love the intelligence here. Now again on his back. Figure four. Yeah, there it is. You pulled it earlier, Kevin. And he got it. I think he's got it. He's got it. Yes, he's got it. And Desperado takes down Swerve. Things are looking bleak for Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. Keith Lee's he, oh, well, he goes with him from a figure four, and he throws oh, oh, oh. to Kanemaru. How <laughs> smart was that? That was pure yeah. desperation by Keith Lee. It worked. It was very smart of Keith Lee. It shows you the, when you have that big size and power advantage, what you can do. Well, this has been a one hell of a tag team match yes. here on By It. It's just great. Kanemaru Desperado gets Keith Lee swerve strictly. Lee charging the corner. Kanemaru once again targeting the leg. Looking for a sunset, sunset flip. flip. Sunset can't flip. Get it. Can't get it. Maybe ill advised. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, I thought he was going to squish him. Instead, Kanemaru gets brought up. Keep Lee maybe thinking spirit bomb. Instead, Kanemaru. Look at the look. Des Desperado. Desperado wipes out Swerve. And Kanemaru, the, the fingers digging into the eyes of Keith Lee. What a tag match here. Desperado trying to, back to trying to pull Oh, wait a minute. Conamaro just took a tug on the whiskey bottle. A Suntory surprise tag is uh -oh. about to happen. Uh -oh. Oh. oh, the whiskey in the eyes. Oh, that burns like hell. And now the roll up by Conamaro. Two. Oh! No. Not so fast, my friend. The whiskey in the eyes of Keith Lee. And those drop kicks, Keith can't even see them coming. That burns, man. I've had bourbon spit in my eye once. Ooh. I'm still sorry about it, Taz. And Desperado gets wiped out. Oh! Swerve cracked him. Oh! Stop! Keith Lee trying to clear the cobwebs. Oh, buddy. The end might be near. A great victory for... What is this? Congratulations on another win. But I notice you two like to walk around here and call yourselves... Where are they? You like to call yourselves Shaq and Kobe. But since we're in Chicago and in the United Center, you might as well call us Jordan and Pippen. Ha <laughs> ha, word. <laughs> Thank you for getting the reference, everybody. Here's the thing. What I find so funny is the fact that you two think that you're the best tag team. That is so funny to me. Because here's the thing. We got Swerve over here who looks like the center stick from the Apple Jacks commercial. And we got Keith League as a broke ass Philip Banks. And then you got a stud like Powerhouse Hobbs and me, a debonair, a suave, a sexy mother. Easy, Ricky. An absolute Ricky Starks. You two will never compare to us because you can't compete where you don't compare. 
So if you two are Shaq and Kobe, and as Hobbs says, we are Jordan and Pippen, the question remains, how can you be the best tag team when you have not beaten powerhouse Hobbs and absolute Ricky Starks? I might want to find out the answer to that yeah. question. Something Listen. tells me we may not have to wait long. I got a funny feeling you men might be right. That's the FTW champ right there. Ricky Starks, Hobbs, chopping down on some popcorn. My guys know how to lay it down, baby. Well, whenever they collide, you know it's going to be special. It seems like Hobbs and Starks swerving our glory are going to beat sometime soon. But... Talk about soon, coming up right now. Gun Club, Austin, Colton, and Billy Gunn, and Max Caster take on the LA Dojo's DKC. Kevin Knight, Alex Coughlin, and Yuya Uyamura. Yuya Uyamura, sorry, I got tongue tied there. It's a little bit of a tongue tying situation, but one thing we can clearly say is that these LA this Dojo boys are talented. They come in well prepared, Taz. From the and new while they Japan might give up experience to size, Knight, Alex Coglin, the DKC, and Iuya Urimura. They will certainly be ready for so what their opponents can throw at them. Iuya Toto, the DKC, Kevin Knight, Alex Coglin, Uemura Yusei Shou, Yu Chou Desu. We saw this past Friday night on Rampage, the DKC was in competition against the cold-hearted, handsome devil himself, Book, and unfortunately for DKC, didn't come away with the victory, Taz. Oh, but he had a, he had a hell of an outing for sure, he did. Uh oh, here we go. It's the Gunner, then Butler, Max Caster. Listen, yo! Listen, yo! Acclaimed and the guns got him interested. We put in four more guys on the injured list. And I'm gonna make you call me Senpai. Y'all are probably in the dojo watching hentai. Y'all are not hot at all. You were too busy washing Shibata's balls. So I'm gonna teach you on the map, boys. You were getting schooled by Acclaimed and the ass boys. Hey, wait a minute, I thought we weren't supposed to say that. <laughs> it's complicated. You never know what cash is. Tokyo Dome! Green Bay! How do they get it wrong every time, Tess? I don't know. I don't know how they get it. Give me these, that! How do they get to these buildings? Chicago! <laughs> oh, oh man. man. The gun club and oh, what? West boys, behold in his eye, giant Danhausen. Oh, look at that. You can squish you and squash you. It's pretty easy. Anyways, Danhausen has a gift for you. Hope you're not too busy and you can enjoy it. Okay, see you later. We're the ass boys. Danhausen, hold on a Give second. Gun Club, a custom entrance, and look at this, Austin, Austin and Cole Gunn just charging, looking for Danhausen, and the L.A. Dojo, the attacks from behind, and I don't blame them. Smart of the L.A. Dojo men, for sure, to attack. Taking advantage of the uh, the momentary distraction by Austin and Colton Gunn, and now Alex Coughlin in there, and he just hoisted up Billy Gunn. Oh, yeah. Watch this, big power, big power. A fall away slam there by Alex Coughlin. Alex Coughlin recently graduating from the LA Dojo, beginning his quote unquote excursion, competing all over the world. Watch this gut wrench. Yes, yeah, strong gut wrench. Nice gut wrench into a slam. Maybe go for a cover here. Coughlin, lateral press. Caster able to kick out. Coughlin should be your, your cup of tea, Taz. He's a strong island guy. He's Come a on. strong island guy for sure. Yes, I've done my homework on him. He can go too. And he's 
he's done. He's had great strides since being, you know, in the LA Dojo and the work he's done with Shibata, Shibata in the training. Oh, yeah. Kevin Knight electrifying, has rockets at the ends of his boots. Yeah, tremendous athleticism for Knight for sure. As you saw right there to your point there. Yeah, that leap from the center of the ring and Kevin Knight emphatic body slam, far leg hook on Caster. Of course, the best of them all from the LA Dojo might be the guy who has his hand out right now looking for a tag, and that's Yuyu Omura. Omura in the ring as the legal man. And just a reminder, coming your way in about 10 minutes for Bidden Door live on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers on Bleacher Report on Fight.tv internationally, available in four languages and exclusively in Japan on NJPWWorld.com. Do not delay. You're not going to want to miss a moment of the action. Oh, you oh, covers. Well, and then I think we should explain on, why you're Nora and Knight and DKC are not, they're wearing just black trunks, black boots. Kev, maybe you want to lay that out. Why Coughlin as a graduate's not? Well, it goes back, of course, the roots of the dojo. You wear black boots, you wear black trunks until you graduate. And then you get to craft your own style, your own personality. Even though Coughlin's still training and fighting out of the LA dojo, he's able to, oh, oh wait a minute oh, now. Yeah, be careful with Big, Big Daddy Gun here. Referee Taito Nakabayashi. Trying to get Billy Gunn out of the ring. Good luck. And I look at that like, you know, right now, Gunn and Caster are... And we must well, say, him, you know, Excalibur, it's four on two because of Danhausen in this video. That Danhausen has uh, has gotten under the skin of Colton and Austin Gunn, sometimes known as the Ass Boys, depending on who you ask. Oh. But Uwe Mura, big time bulldog out of the corner. Uwe Mura, the cover. Nice deep cover, but not enough. Cash is a very strong athlete. Kicking out right there, impressed. Umar has gotten comparisons to some great names in pro wrestling, like Tatsumi Fujinami, Keiji Muto, even Ricky Steepo. Wow, those are great, great, great legends for sure. Tatsumi Fujinami uh, was a big inspiration for me back in the day. I can tell you that right now, phenomenal. Of course, the 50th year of New Japan Pro Wrestling, and the DKC brings a martial arts background to the LA Dojo. Oh, yep, no doubt. Reverse karate, Muay Thai. Nice chops. Caster down in the corner. I mean, this has been all Max Caster beaten on. Well, he's singled out. It's been four on one for I mean, the most part. Yeah, you can't say it's unfair, but it's no, no, it's, it's not, not, a, not unfair. Nice snap suplex. Nothing not unfair. No, I mean, you, when Colton and Austin just ran off to find Danhausen, and that's what happens. DKC lateral press two. Has maybe a slight delay there by DKC here in front of the sold out United Center. Maybe a little slight one. Might be just trying to shake off that red rope from Friday. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I just not. Low roll Jones there. Now Kevin Knight laying in those stomps on Max Caster. You see Billy Gunn pacing. Yeah, well, DKC and Knight right now in complete control. Cash is in a lot of trouble. Nice counter on these two young athletes here. Meeting of the minds there. DKC and Kevin Knight, Caster, oh, the backhand. Often distracted him, but it wasn't enough, and now here comes Knight again. Watch out. Oh, whoa, boy. Oh, body drop. Tough landing right there, Kevin. Tough landing. Yep, and the tag. Uh oh Big Daddy. Billy Gunn throwing some big-time shots and a massive boot into the jaw of Weaverow. We're giving up a plethora of size against oh. Mr. Gunny. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh what a drop kick. Beautiful, getting up that high. Kevin Knight avoided the Famouser, landed a drop kick, but Billy Gunn just plants Knight. Coughlin's next. Coughlin about to go for a ride. Those guys can't outpower Coughlin, but Billy Gunn can. DKC. Giving up a lot of experience, all these athletes to this man here. I'm contrasting out to get in to say Billy Gunn got me my job at WWF 1996. Oh, the foul, oh. sir! <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the tag made out, and Max Caster it's time for a mic drop. ascending to the top, and the mic drop. Caster covers and is victorious.
Cutty Glove and Platinum Max Caster. And even though Max Caster really got able to get the win for their team, they can't afford to have Austin and Colton running off. No, I, I know, but chasing ghosts. <laughs> well, Dan Housen, I guess he's kind of a ghost. That's interesting. But a uh, beautiful mic drop by Max Caster of the acclaim. Yeah, some of your victors. Something tells me even with the victory, Billy Gunn is not going to be happy with Colton and Austin Gunn after this one. Well, I don't blame them. They, they ran away looking for Danhausen in the locker room area, and they're not out here to fight. Oh, they just left bones behind them. Someone's got to push them around, especially uphill. <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> well, coming up on Forbidden Door, just minutes away, our main event. Who will be crowned the interim AEW World Champion? Will it be John Moxley or the ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi? Tanahashi, when he comes to the United States, is as big as the Beatles, is as big as the Rolling Stones. Punk's entry added a lot of intrigue because all of a sudden we don't have a healthy champion. Very quickly, we came into a realm where we're going to have an interim champion crown. When the dust settles at Forbidden Door, you are gonna call me Ace. You know Mox in this matchup for the AEW Interim Championship against one of the greatest of all time has not been talked about enough. My job at Forbidden Door is to dump Hiroshi Tanahashi right on top of his skull. The is Tanahashi. If I wasn't the guy who bridged the gap over the Pacific between New Japan and AEW, you think we'd be having this conversation right now? I am the forbidden door. John Moxley, Hiroshi Tanahashi, they will collide in our main event, and only one man will walk out as the interim AEW World Champion. We will also see a four-way match for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. Switchblade Jay White defending. Hangman Page, Kazuchiko Okada, Adam Cole, the challengers. One fall, anybody can win. Speaking of four-way matches, the brand new AEW All-Atlantic Championship. Will it be Miro, Pac, Malachi Black, or Clark Connors? We'll see. Don't sleep on Clark Connors. Also a trios tag team match with huge stakes at Blood and Guts this coming Wednesday. Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara with the Jericho Appreciation Society team up with Minoru Suzuki to take on Kingston, Wheeler Yuta, and Shota Umino. So you're telling me that for the first time ever, Chris Jericho and Minoru Suzuki are gonna team up? My God, how about this one? For the AEW Women's World Championship, Thunder Rosa defending against Tony Storm. I'm predicting a new champion here tonight. Whoa. Wow. Well, we got a trios tag team match, a big one. The Bullet Club, man, going to collide with the dudes with attitude. Shingo Takagi, Sting, and Darby Allin teaming together. That's Who wild. would have ever thought? That's one tough. night only, the Bucks are back in Bullet Club. This could be the super kick party that they talk about forever. And winner takes all three teams. Two championships, the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship, the IWGP Tag Team Championship, but only one winner, FTR, United Empire's Jeff Cobb and Great O'Conn, and Rapongi Vice, Rocky Romero and Trent Moretta. And what a card, of course, which will also feature the IWGP U.S. Heavyweight Championship. So much controversy around this title, but tonight, the champion, Will Ospreay, will defend against Orange Cassidy. Where's the belt? It's on the shoulder of Juice Robinson. And well, he refuses to give it back. One of the greatest, arguably the greatest, Matt Technician in world of pro wrestling, Zack Sabre Jr., will compete against a mystery opponent. Who is it? Who was hand-picked? Who was hand-picked by Brian Danson to compete against Zack Sabre? That graphic is orange. <laughs> it's not me. But Taz, you know, the only thing we know for certain is that man is the newest member of the Black Bull Combat Club. But the main event, you know the winner of this match, John Moxley and Hiroshi Tanahashi, will be on an inevitable collision course with CM Punk to unify the AEW World Championship. We 
have just a few moments until we go live around the world with Forbidden Door. You still have a chance to join us on Bleach Report, on PayPerView.com, on cable and satellite for traditional pay-per-view providers on Fight.tv around the world in four different languages and in Japan exclusively on NewJapanWorld.com. Ohayogasamasu to everybody watching in Japan. It's the morning of the 27th and everybody's waking up to watch Forbidden Door. You still have a chance. The United Center sold out long ago, but you can still be a part of Forbidden Door. 15 seconds. You're going to kick yourself if you don't do it. Join us for Forbidden Door live in five seconds. Do not miss it.